Now I'm delighted to be joined here by Eric Malloy on the night one of our goal scorers after a 2-0 win against Cove. Eric, a bullet of a header and an even better celebration. You must be delighted tonight. Absolutely, yeah. I have to say the lads really dug in there. I don't think we had much of the ball there the second half. and We just played about three days ago as well, so the legs were pretty heavy. I think they had an extra day in between. and Yeah, it just was a, quite a struggle in the second half there. Legs were heavy. And yeah, I was delighted to get that goal to give us a, a two goal cushion going into the last whatever minutes it was there, but delighted, yeah. Darren Craven got the first one, another cracker from himself again. He can really hit them from distance, can't he? Just what a strike, yeah. He's he hit a few of them, and in training, you see that. Dad's hit some worldies in training, and it's great to see him hitting them out there. Um, but that comes from good pressing from everyone. Like a lot of the players, first half we stepped up, we, we had the legs, pressed them. I think we won the ball back then, it felt the Daz and yeah, what a hit from Daz. You can hit them yourself from distance, I've seen you in pre-season hitting them, I think against Bowes it was, maybe 35 yards out yourself and that header, just talk me through that, you know, to, in another crack and set piece, nearly identical to the goal Michael Barker scored on Saturday, just just talk me through that goal yourself. Well, uh, first, yeah, the lads have been giving me a lot of stick about hitting the ball, like, and trying to find lads probably too precise and in them conditions they're, they're just saying hit the ball, I need to start hitting them more, but yeah that was just, um, Last last twenty minutes, I think we put a few lads back, and we I just went and attacked it. You you know, uh, it was a great ball in from Dylan Barnett to put it in, and uh, Barks was told to go back and cover. I think we had the lad off the field, so I kind of stepped into what, what he did and just ran across the front there. And yeah, luckily it was a great ball and went in. You know, like a bit. A brilliant set of results on the trot now. You know, a good win over at Long last week and and a draw away to War from the previous week, and then a win over Galway. The team is really gelling now. You know. It, we were kind of saying at the start of the season, you know, we've had matches rearranged and, and postponed and everything and we're falling behind. But now how it's panned out, you know, we're really gelling together as these matches are coming to fruition. And we're really going, like, we're, we're toured now with two games in hand on Cork. So it, it's starting to come well for the team so far. Uh, you get that when you assemble a new squad. Like, Gary's assembling a lot of players there and uh, we're starting to gel together as pre-season. Then the game's called off. Yeah, it does, doesn't help but it's, you know, gelling together and stuff like that. But now we're starting to... You know, play well, we're starting to find out what each other likes and different things like that. And yeah, we're starting to put in some good performance. Um, I think it's Bray up next. We had a very good performance against Bray the last day, but we ended up losing that match. So yeah, we're going to be have fire on our bellies going into Bray next week, you know. Speaking of that game, as you said, you know, we lost here at Bishop's Gate against Bray in a game we probably didn't deserve to lose. Revenge is, will, will be the first thing on the menu for the team, I'd imagine. Um, obviously going to the Carlisle is difficult for any team, but... We've we, you know we've come up against every team now apart from Treaty. We know what everyone's at. We know what Bray are at especially, and we've come round to play them again. As you said, the fire in the belly will be there for going up to Carlo. Oh, hundred percent, yeah. And um, I think this league is stick for a lot of like it's physicality, but in terms there's a lot of teams trying to play play football, and I think going to Bray next week we're going to have to play a bit of football and and knock it around to, to beat them because Bray are quite solid. But yeah, we, we'll be right up for that one now next week. Cheers, Eric. Thank you.